Hello, this is Goofer King Science. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make lead dioxide electrodes, which have similar properties to platinum electrodes, but for much lower cost. The first step is to cast a lead bar. I melted the lead with my blowtorch in a steel pan and cast it in some sand. After cooling, here's what the lead bar looked like. Now it's time to electrolytically coat it with lead dioxide. The setup here is relatively easy to make. The liquid is 30% sulfuric acid and is being stirred by a magnetic stir bar. This will keep the sulfuric acid solution moving and it will provide a better lead dioxide coating in the end. The lead bar that I made earlier is hooked to the positive output of a DC power supply and a copper wire is hooked to the negative output. When the power is applied, bubbles will begin to come off of each electrode and the lead electrode will begin to darken as it is coated with lead dioxide. Now I couldn't find any equations that show this reaction, but however, if you know about electrochemistry, you can understand why this is happening. The H plus ions in solution are attracted to the negative electrode and they form hydrogen there. And the oxygen containing compounds are attracted to the positive electrode where they form oxygen and the lead being in direct contact with this oxygen formation process causes it to oxidize itself and create lead dioxide. As you can see, I've set the voltage input to around 1.5 volts DC. After 30 to 45 minutes, carefully remove the lead dioxide electrode from the sulfuric acid bath and dry it off with a paper towel. You need to make sure that you're wearing gloves while you're doing this because you're working with not only toxic lead compounds but corrosive sulfuric acid. And I haven't said this earlier, so I'm going to say it now. This is very dangerous to work with lead this closely, and when you're done you need to make sure you thoroughly wash all your glassware and your hands. Here is the finished lead dioxide coated electrode. As you can see I took a little bit of sandpaper and carefully sanded the top so I have a conductive surface to hook electrodes onto. Now as a quick note, it would be much better to carry out this electrode deposition process onto a substrate like carbon or titanium as the lead dioxide will be less prone to chipping and cracking off. So I'm probably going to try that in the future. So subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.